You're watching Lexi's Life. I was just trying to fold and put away laundry on a Sunday night. When I got wind of this mess happening. So when it comes to the slap that was heard around the world, we've had a lot happen this week. First, I saw an apology from Chris Rock, which they say was not real, did not come out of his camp. And then Monday, Will officially actually apologized to Chris Rock because in his acceptance speech of his Oscar, he apologized to everybody but Chris Rock. But he apologized to Chris Rock. Um, he recognized that what he did was wrong. And um, as of today, which this clip I'm recording on Saturday. Um, also, this vlog will be kind of out of order. <laughs> but as of today, Will has retired himself, withdrawn himself from the Academy, which may have a whole lot of repercussions that I am somewhat worried about. But as far as my thoughts, yes, Will was wrong to slap Chris Rock on international television. People argue that Chris Rock was humiliated in front of the world. We can also argue that Jada Pinkett Smith was also humiliated in front of the entire world. So I think we need to rethink comedy because I've also heard that Amy Schroomer, I think that's how you say her name, was the one that wrote the fucking G.I. Jane joke or whatever the hell. And no, I was not fully aware of Jada and her alopecia because I don't watch Real Table Talk like that. But she has talked about it being an issue for her, being a sensitive subject for her. So it has been put into the public knowledge that that was an issue for her, um, which is why her reaction was the way it was. And Will might have been laughing at first, whether he was laughing at the previous joke or whether he was even you know, laughing at that joke and then saw that his wife didn't think it was freaking funny because when I don't think nothing funny, he shouldn't think nothing funny neither, okay? Um, but, um, when you mention people by name in your jokes, you're humiliating them. So I don't feel bad that you got humiliated after humiliating somebody else. I think Will Smith fucked up and Chris Brown, Chris, not Chris Brown, Jesus, Chris Rock fucked around and found out. So, hopefully you will. We'll continue. Might not be with the backing of the Academy Awards. He finally received one. Even if they take it away, he earned the Academy Award, but he really should have got it for our league because I watched King Richard. It was something to watch. But the amazing performance was in Ali. So, fuck it. That was a long ass time ago. Um, what I do know is I don't want Bel Air to be canceled. I want to watch it. I don't think Will Smith to be canceled. I mean, but then I'm a controversial person anyway because R. Kelly wrong as fuck. He's horrible. But the music's motherfucking good. And, hell... Even when everybody was hating Chris Brown, too. Bro, the music's good. <laughs> okay? So, I do. Maybe I'm that person, because even still, you know, I was conflicted with the whole Bill Cosby thing. I mean, there's good art, and there's fucked up people, and they can both exist. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what should be done, but shit. Why can't we enjoy the good shit at the same time? Y'all ain't gonna like me, which is why I don't get paid for this. No way, <laughs> possibly. So it is what it is. Well, I wish you the best of luck and a whole lot of therapy for a lot of people. For Will, for Jada, hell, even at this point, even for Chris Rock, maybe he. Chris Rock don't need no damn therapy. His damn ticket sales already done spiked. 
uh, if there's a way you could write the jokes about the slap that was heard around the world without causing more controversy, go ahead, bro. If I have not talked about Abbott Elementary before, I have to let y'all know. You have to check out this sitcom. It is hilarious. Quinta, she hit it out the park with this one. And Ava cracks me up. I just have to show y'all the final clip of this week's episode. Just look at Janine looking like me. It's the end of the month, so I had to update my cubicle decorations. And my nails are matching the thing. Looking into my garden, back at home in one of my flower beds, um, I have to stay on top of this peppermint that's growing to the right. Um, if you didn't know, peppermint grows like weeds. So I literally had to pull it up around, up from around my Autumn Joy that came from a parent plant from my grandfather's yard probably 25 years ago. And then I have some hostas in there too that are trying to poke through and I don't want it to choke it out. I also don't want that peppermint to go to waste. So I put them in some pots that were still outside. Um, and I got it in there right before the rain came. So hopefully they'll bounce back. They're still standing up now, but when I gave my mom some last week, it looked like they were dying and she watered it, came back to life. So I'm hoping these pots will take off where either I can keep them in the pots for myself or I can give them away to friends or if my mom needs some more, I can give her some more. But I will continue to pull slash cut peppermint all season long to keep it from making that back flower bed area a complete jungle. It's fine if it covers and fills in the gaps, but I don't need it choking out the flowers that were also planted over there. I need to show y'all a DIY I did with these lanterns that I got from Five Below. I bought two of these more tan brown ones but they also have them in this lighter color. It's not quite white, so let's call it cream. Anyway, I took these lanterns. I also bought the puck lights um, with the remote. So these lanterns come, you put in AAA batteries or something like that. They have a light in the bottom. I didn't bother putting batteries in the actual lanterns. I bought the puck lights with remotes that you find in the electronic section. I had them before, but I bought some more, just didn't take a picture of them. And here's what I did. I added them to the mirrored shelves that I already had on my living room wall. I still need to hang my two prints in between those. And I'm gonna to try to cover up this mess over here to the side, because this is where my kid stacks his coats on top of my blankets in the living room. But you see the sconce lighting look in those pug lights? have a dimmer so they have like two settings it's a brighter and a dimmer one but they're not super bright um this picture was taken in during the daytime but in the evenings now i just use those two lights while i'm watching tv maybe the light on in the hallway behind me if i want a little bit more light but it just makes me feel so relaxed right now and i think it looks really nice and that was five ten fifteen dollars spent batteries were already at the house so, I'm sitting around. I'm off today. It's Thursday because, like I said, I'm working this weekend. I think I said that already. But, um, sitting around watching YouTube and watching gardening videos because now, um, instead of just obsessed with houseplants, I want, I've grown vegetables probably the last two years. Yeah. The last two years? Yeah. I've grown tomatoes the last two years. I mean, I've just said vegetables. I did start some veggies two years ago. I got some lettuce. I think my tomatoes died that year, so I had the bell peppers that year. And then last year, I planted tomatoes and bell peppers again. Um, both of them really did well last year. Tomatoes went above and beyond the cherry tomatoes. So, 
I keep watching gardening videos and I want to do more veggies and grow stuff in my yard, but my foot is broke, so I can't really maneuver to be all around my yard like that, especially not where I had my garden before. So that doesn't stop me from being obsessed. And I was watching a video and I saw sweet potato vines. Now that reminded me that I've had sweet potatoes sitting on top of my refrigerator for God knows how long. Cause I'm good for buying food and then I don't like cooking. So half of it don't get cooked, which is a waste and a problem and an issue. So I was like, you got sweet potatoes. Maybe you could struggle up that hill and put them in that planter that I used for my smuggles and stuff last year just to get the vines going. Cause I'm like, if I can't do anything and just let it rain throughout the spring and the sun do its thing, I let God work because God works with my plant graveyard. The plants that I say are dead in here and I put outside, half of them come back to life out there and I leave them to God. But, oh, excuse me, that was my stomach. Um, so I go to go get these sweet potatoes and look what I find. So I'm trying to get these potatoes out of this bag. I see stems coming out of the bag and I'm only gonna take the potatoes that have stems. That's a really long one. Um, and I'm going to put them in water. Uh, let's see how many I can use in here. First, I'm going for that long one without breaking the stem. There's one. And that's just what it's sitting on top of the refrigerator for months. Um, here's the second one. And I got a third one. So I'm gonna take those three and put them in this hyacinth base that I have from last year. The hyacinth bulbs grew in there last year. I bought them from Kroger. And I just put a little water in the bottom and I'm trying to use the plastic things that held up the bulbs to hold up the potatoes, vine side up. So there was no guessing as to which side went up to the potato because the vine was already coming out. And you're just gonna see me struggling with trying to keep them up because I'm not actually piercing through the potato. I'm just propping them up between the spikes. And I'm not sure enough water is touching the bottom. So I'm gonna need to add some more water if I can get it to stand up. To the sink, I use our water filtration system at the sink for my plants when I'm not using rainwater. So I'm just gonna try, I don't want too much because I feel like they're like the hyacinth bulbs. I don't want them too wet, but I'm just trying to get it so that roots will start coming out the bottom. And then I'll just, you know, bring it to the sink each time to add water or when I'm watering my plants and I have my long watering can, I can use that to just top off the water to a certain level. See how I did here? You're touching, it's in there. Here I go trying to straighten them up again. I still gotta get them to a windowsill. Uh, we'll sit it next to my fiddly fig in this windowsill that's holding all types of growing and non-growing things. And see what happens. I took my car to get washed today. It fully detailed, hand washed, 
just so it could be covered in pollen 10 minutes later. I won't bother washing it again until this pollen season is over. And I'm playing around on TikTok with the stop motion feature. This is me and my oldest son. And here is me and my youngest son. Then here is me and both my boys together. I tell you, when online shopping goes wrong, we go from our list of normal purchases at Walmart, I need to buy groceries because I had to work this weekend, and when they came to the option of bananas, it was a bunch of organic bananas, which I'm not paying extra for organic. I don't care how you feel about it. Bananas is bananas, and I done lived off of McDonald's and everything else my whole damn life, so. And my, the fact that my grandparents had lived in today 90s, we eat food and we fine, okay? So I was not paying for organic bananas. They had the regular bananas. It showed a picture of one banana, but it said it was whatever sent a pound. So I pressed add which was add one in hopes. I went back and forth about this foolishness in hopes that when I say add banana, that it was gonna grab a bunch of bananas cause who the fuck go to the store and see one damn banana and pick it up. But what the hell they put in my damn bag? One single fucking banana. So guess who gonna be at the store again soon? <laughs> Me. I'm gonna get this online shopping thing right too because I almost, I really didn't know which account it went out of either. And I need to stop clicking stuff so fast because I was like, I hope it took it out the right account. Money's in both accounts, but I was linked to Walmart. I wanted it out of a specific account. It did come out the right account this time, thank the Lord, because that's probably the last card I used using Walmart Pay. But I am still mad. That they legitimately said, oh, she wants one banana. Who the fuck wants one banana? What are we doing ordering one banana? Nobody's ordering one banana. Get a damn bunch and charge you by the pound. That's what I expected. Okay. Thank you guys for watching Lexi's Life. Again, it's probably the second week where the vlog is kind of choppy. Still trying to figure out how I'm going about chronicling my week, because this is a weekly vlog. I'm also trying to make the video a little bit shorter so I'm not constantly recording every stupid thing I do. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.